It's a vibe on Lava Lounge. So, of course, I did mention we're going to have BB Ninja Evic Tees. We have the two pairs. We have Flourish and we have Trees. That is Ruti, uh, DJ Flo. We have um, Toby Forge and Mayo with us. Welcome to the show. How are you guys doing? Thank Thank you. You sound very calm. What's going on? <laughs> no, you, you sound like you're sort of like overwhelmed, like you've been having maybe many media rounds, like you're stressed. Is that what it is? Yeah, sort of. Actually. How many rounds have you had so far? Ooh, I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> I, ca- I caught some of them online though, definitely. How many? I've just had dragging you. Ooh, <laughs> you don't want to check your phone right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it. Even me, that I wasn't, I'm not in the house. They drag me. But anyway, it's good to have you guys. How are you guys doing? Generally, you know, it's been a few days outside the house. Let I'm me good. start with Mayo. How are you doing? Good, good. Well, um, I'm, I'm all right. You know, I'm taking everything in. One step at a time. You know, getting away from going forward. So yeah, projecting myself to that. Okay. Okay. What about you, Toby? family yeah friends reaching out even knowing that we thought we're not really doing well in our house but coming out to someone's support and love yeah it's very very emotional but also cool at the same time so we're doing good doing all right okay what about Ruti? Flo or Ruti? how you feeling how you how do you how does it feel like being out of the house how does it feel um i mean mm. At first, it wasn't so good because mm. I mean, you wouldn't want to leave early. That early, but, yeah. Um, at the same time, you know, I'm just grateful, you know, for even coming this far in the first place. Mm-hmm. Um, coming out to so much love. I'm yeah. grateful for it, you know. So that he hates to, I'm grateful for it. <laughs> it's, part of, it's part of the game. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just, I'm just taking it, you know, oh, just like I said, I just step at a time. I'm just trying to figure out everything. How to navigate. This is brand new. Yeah. Kind of lifestyle. So let's, let's see how we can navigate through that. Okay, valid. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's quite overwhelming, you know, because coming out of the house, you're still processing and trying to settle in and then reality check. You know, the first night we came out and we were just like everybody was in this sad mood, sort of. Yeah. And somebody called DJ Flo, and I'm like, is this how it's going to be? Yeah. So I wasn't prepared for it, but right now, yeah, coming out and then seeing the love is massive, you know, that's just what's keeping me going. Because I'm very sure by now, maybe I would be mentally down. Yeah. But, but the support. Yeah, but the, the love is more focused on the positive. Yeah so much yeah so i'm, mm-hmm. grateful, I'm happy okay I'm so i think happy. i think what i'm going to do is i probably do like lots of the question of one person and then i move to the next you know like that i think that works okay um but i'm curious to you know wh- why do you think maybe i might have certain ideas in my head but why do you think you were part of the bottom four routine i don't know mm. i don't know do you, think, ah. do you think it was something you were not doing enough was your was it your team or do you, th- you, you don't have you have no idea I can't really put blames on anybody or yeah. I mean I don't really know I can't say I didn't do much because I was myself my mm-hmm. true self maybe if there was a strategy then maybe I don't know maybe I wasn't just selling what people wanted but no I'm the real deal so I'm good with whatever I'm good I like that yeah, so I'm, I'm also very curious I mean reading about like when you guys are getting in I know that I thought it was you or Flourish, I don't know, talked about how your BB ambition was to bring drama, hmm. be your authentic self, and, you know, and you brought that sometime that week before you were evicted. But why did you wait till the voting lines were over before you, you know, you showed yourself? Because I'm going to tell you the truth, right? After the whole, not that I'm in support or not in support, but my point is, after the whole thing that happened with you and um, the twins we're going to get there because I know quite a number of people are asking questions then a lot of people start saying you know I hope she's not going you know we n- need more drama unfortunately the, cl- the voting lines are closed so was it that you because you you already were already pissed so why did you have to wait before you like you know unleashed uh, the Sunday before then I think I tried to stare the pot already I tried to show that look I have this thing no but mm-hmm. um, I don't think it's the right time because in as much as 
I want to be my real self. I went there with my partner. I have to respect how she feels. I have to compromise, you know, because it's, um, it's the two of us. Mm-hmm. I, I would just say I have to just do things out of place. Yeah. My partner is um, a reserved person. She's not like Wahala, you know. So it's more like hot and cold, but when they come together, they become warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't want to like just blow things up. But then again, I wanted to show the house that, look, I have this thing, but don't just provoke me. Because after the Sunday that there was a reaction in the house, I went to stir things up like Mm -hmm. girl don't mess with me like that you know but this is just the tip of the iceberg and then that saturday was when i knew that look even if my partner wants to verse for me (laughs) may she verse i have to express myself because it was long overdue okay i think for some reason people were excited to see that side of you initially when when it happened Mm -hmm. i don't know about now that you guys are out of the house Mm -hmm. but what do you think was the real issue between you and the twins though because why, why do you guys have so much animosity towards each other? What do you think was the issue? You know, I'm really tired of this conversation. Yeah, actually. I mean. Um, but with the twin, prior to that, Ibuka spilling the mm. tea, we were cool. Not like we're friends or we had but we had a cordial relationship we just knew that yeah we're in the same space we have to respect each other and all of that but after Ibuka came out and said that you know um i just noticed that there was some t- sort of energy you know if Ibuka said something you come to me and ask me ruth why did you really say this thing because what i said to you or Ibuka said i told my partner was exactly what i said to you so it's not like something i've not had like we've not had this conversation before you know so you would have asked me ah ruth you said this in the kitchen why did you still say it again to your partner like can i explain to you you know um you don't just blow things out because you feel like you can just do whatever you want to do you get so it was um really out of place to throw shades and threaten people and feel like oh they can't do anything because you're the custodian so Hmm. yeah okay if you say so (laughs) all right moving on from that because i also don't want to dwell so much i feel like a lot of people have dropped that particular question so let's talk about mayo right um (laughs) <laughs> not too mayo about mayo I'm, I'm going to you know go this way how would you describe your connection back in the house you and mayo how would you describe your connection um we had a mutual understanding that's where we started from because mm-hmm. we started talking in the first week you know but i mean when you go to a place you have to observe people's character and then see but for me and me it was just a vibe like when we just got talking and then we connected almost immediately you know but then being in the house you know you have to allow him like check out other people and see oh yeah do i really have a vibe with this person or not you know but then again we grew stronger every day we looked out for each other and yeah i think it was more of my peace of mind mm. in the house. Hey, yeah. Mayo was your peace of mind. I love that. But I'm about to get a little uncomfortable. Um, yeah. So, you had talked about how you felt disrespected mm-hmm. um, with the whole mentioning names and all of that. Um, talk, explain that first. Um, okay. So, for me, the disrespect was when he mentioned Handy, when mm-hmm. Wani asked the three people he liked in the house, and he mentioned me first, mm-hmm. mentioned Nelly. Mm-hmm. Nelly was always a part of the story. So, I mean, if Nelly was not there, maybe I wouldn't have even known how much he really cared, you know. So, and then um, Handy was a shock because I knew that question was asked to poke me who asked the question wani okay so i knew that question was asked and then when i heard be honest i knew that they were looking out for something so i don't well the first time i asked him were you being strategic because it's one thing to know that yes they're the custodian and then you're trying to protect yourself which Mm -hmm. i would understand but when he said he wasn't and then he was under the influence you know i kind of because i know me when when he drinks he doesn't even think things through he's just himself he likes to just enjoy himself so maybe he just said it out of this thing and i felt disrespected because this is the same person that said i was tasteless because i was with you so that's the thing she said tasteless but how did you know she was talking about him i know because there's been rumor in the house already that 
How come we never house. saw that? Um, you don't see everything. You know, we are in the house, so we know the vibe in the house. Mm. So there was this energy between people in the house and them. You know, you know when people feel like they are this type mm. and these people are this class of people. Mm. You know, there was uh, how do I call it? There was a cartel or an alliance in the house. Mm. You know, so with them people did not feel the need to like connect with them that much i could see the struggle somehow and it was the same struggle we had because we were like the neutrals in the house you know other people knew themselves outside the house and all sorts so they didn't know much about us and then connecting to us was a problem so i noticed connecting with certain people for me and toby was but i mean bit. victor as well didn't connect do you, do you know why i'm saying that i don't know if you've googled it or you checked on twitter so they call you like the lulu queen okay. like like you a lot of things they feel like I, there's a tweet i got it says um where is that tweet richie will create narratives in her head and find evidence to support her claims so a lot of people also, also when i was researching on questions a lot of people felt like you would hear a statement and then you sort of just explore it in different perspective create a narrative and you sort of believe what you want to believe so a lot of people thought you were delusional um do you agree with that that's why i sort of emphasized the tasteless so there were different examples where you a statement would be made but you felt like you knew exactly you know what it meant uh are you caught this online have you seen have you seen it online yes i've seen them call okay. me delusional okay, queen so, yeah. yeah um I would say I was in the experience. Mm -hmm. So I saw everything that happened. In as much as you don't get to see everything that happens in the house, different conversations, what what we feel and notice in the house, you know, I was there. You know, like the sewage thing, let me bring up the sewage thing that mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. Mayor could relate because I was telling him every step, even my partner, you know. But then again, people didn't see it. And when it came up, people were like, oh, I was pushing myself to him but now coming out of the house yesterday i saw them having a conversation where nelly was telling biggie that oh she was just told that suj was making and then him and tofa also had the conversation mm -hmm. about tofa telling him that oh the rooty thingy so it wasn't like an assumption you know i mean yeah someone can like for instance suj kind of got close to victoria he got close to you and um he also told chiwe that is desired that he liked her but i i didn't necessarily see chinwe emphasize anything or victoria emphasize anything so it kind of felt like your own sometimes is a little bit more you know emphasis but then like you said we didn't watch everything so we're gonna sort of move away from that um because i'm not done with the mayor question so the reason i'm asking is because it was a it was kind of emotional for you you were disrespected and personally i caught a particular video of you saying that you were just using mail so it was like if you're using him why are you so disrespected you know by you know just mentioning names and was was it were you really um, using him for the game i wasn't using me like oh, everything I, oh. mm -hmm. like i said every conversation or whatever is flying on the internet i had a conversation with him before anything else you told him you're using at the time mm -hmm. where you people feel like i said i was using him i probably might have said we were just using him to feel i have out of video. Or, dumb or something but i don't think i said i was using mayor because from the first week mm -hmm. mayor was kind of confused on who to be with which i told him it was very okay because we just got into the house and it is okay for you to take your time you get but then again i can't truly say i am with someone when the person is not outrightly with me so when i had the narrative in the house because it's not just two people that are saying it people in the house are like oh um i'm with mayor because he's not with nelly uh, if he was with nelly i wouldn't have been there and all of that some of these things i saw them in the house some of them which were speculations but i think i'd like to pass because going into the conversation is just making it very long so were you using me or were you not using me how would you say i was using someone that i was with all the time you said it with your mouth no <laughs> you, you did say it so is it is it it was just a conversation 
it was just a conversation. All right, good. Um, so I mean, I need to move to other people, but then um, you have an initiative thing going on. But I think we should touch we should touch that later, right? Okay. All right. So let's go to Flourish. Hi. How are you? I said Flourish. DJ Flo. How are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes the questions can be uncomfortable, but I, I have to ask everything. Um, how are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. I'm well. How are you? I'm good. I mean, you came alive a lot during the, you know, parties. Was like that your strategy going into the house? <laughs> strategy. I'm a DJ. I'm a nightlife person. I mm-hmm. love to party. That's the main. <laughs> that's the reason why I DJ because I love to party. So it's not a strategy. It's just my lifestyle. Okay. I well, love to be yeah. You know, so. I mean, we saw you doing the parties. Truth was there. You know, you were definitely very active. What did you have a strategy going into the game? Not really. Not really because at the end of the day, the way the house is tailored, you'd. We could have a strategy and go into the house and, yeah. and everything would just that barrel because something can just come up and just ruin your your plan whatever yeah. strategy you went into the house with. So I mean the plan was always to go in there and just go with the dynamics of the show. However way the game came, we were just like plates. Okay. You were the cool kid in sense of, you know, you sort of got along with most of the people, you know, in the house. Was there really anybody in the house that you didn't like? Because it felt like you, you didn't have issues with any anybody at all, or was that? Yeah, go ahead. Um. Well, I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a very reserved person. Okay. I can go into a place and just take my time with you know blending in, but going into this space, I knew that one way or another, I just had to speak to people i mean the main idea is an, ex- an experience a social experiment so i'm there to experience every single bit of it so i need to experience people too you know so i tried as much as possible to have conversations be cordial with people you know speak with people but still protect my personal space mm-hmm. you know and i just had certain people in my circle so as much as i was speaking to people i still just had my own personal circle you know of, of friends and i think you know in the house so well- who would you say you were closest to and like the least close to in the house? Um, Zimwe and Victoria. You're c- the closest to them? Yeah, Chinwe, mm-hmm. okay. especially. Okay. And um, yeah, I think Double K. Did you know they were married? I mm-hmm. suspected. You suspected? Yeah, yeah. Oh, in okay. fact, yes, because from the first week we already said these people are dating, and then Chinwe was like, they're not just dating, these two people are married. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. she saw like a mark of a ring finger, the ring finger of Kelly Ray. So she was like, this guy is married. And I was like, I go come on that city right <laughs> you know, Okay. I was close to them. So I, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> you, who was like the person you were least close to in the house? Sean. Why? We never really. Because it wasn't a sheep? Had. Not really. Okay. I mean, uh, Zimbo is in the sheep and I, I speak to Zion yeah. very well. Um. I wasn't close to Sean. Okay. I wasn't. Um, I mean, when the the season started, I had conversations with him by the way twins, but I figured how strategic. Yeah. Okay. So I was just very careful around them. So we really, really didn't get along like that. But okay. we're good. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. So let, let's talk about um, your partner as well, because you guys are like fire and ice. Yeah. You know, and sort of, you know, blended. But like she said, both of you cannot be fire. Both of you cannot be ice. But then um, you were also seen, you know, supporting her and having her back, which is a great thing. But was there any time you felt like, you know, you, she did something and, you know, you had an issue with it? Um, funny enough, I feel like this experience um, has, has helped her in a way because she's not more in control of her emotions, you know. She's a very blunt person. She's very direct. You know, she'll tell you the way it is. She's always been like that, you know, she won't fake it around anybody, but coming into the house, you know, she just had to like put all of that in check. Mm-hmm. And instead of just reacting to anything and everything, she was just taking her time with it. So that's why even when the last blowout happened, I was like, you know, just let, let her, her do, yeah, we, we saw that. Friends. You know, I think it's bottled up emotion, it's been a long time coming, so she might as well just go off. So it doesn't look like, because I mean, as much as everybody in the house were like tiptoeing and trying to work on eggshells so they don't like step on people's toes because of the kind of power that we had in the house 
some people still needed to let out the emotions mm-hmm. because the house is very mentally draining. You know, it's a lot. And that's why a lot of people were having emotional breakdowns in the house. You know, the ones you would see, the ones you would not see. You know, some people were dealing with like so many things. So sometimes it was okay to allow people just express themselves or do whatever it is that would make them you know, feel good. I mean, we saw, we saw that conversation when, you know, she was going off at um, the twins. But then also post um, eviction. Yeah. Um, of course, you've been asked questions around this as well, and some some of the comments I've been saying is, okay, I, I'm disappointed in Flo. Like, why is she taking her side? You know, and all of that. What, what do you have to say about that? <clears throat> so, <laughs> first of all, um, I mean, everybody knows that. Everybody knows, even when I'm having conversations, I'm, I'm, I, I try as much as possible to process things with a very clear head and be as mature as possible. I just think think about it from a realistic point of view. So even with the situation that happened, everybody's saying, oh, um, I came out of the house and it's like I'm taking her fight and yeah. inheriting her enemies and everything. And I made a statement. I said, um, now this is how I see it. I was in good terms with the twins. You know, we didn't have we didn't have issues because as as far as I'm concerned, going into the house, I felt when I also saw that they were DJs, I was like, okay, you know, women apartments, you can do this thing together, whatever. And I was good with them. They had issues with her. Even during the week when they had the issue, we're still good. You know, and then what happened what happened on Saturday. And now, if you claim to be, because people are saying, oh, we saw that the twins liked you, and then you're coming out of the house, and then now you're saying these things about them. And I'm like, I'm coming out of the house, and I'm saying that you're conniving with people to kick me out. If I have issues with you, or if my partner has issues with you, I only expect that, because we're friends, or I mean, we are cordial mm-hmm. in the way. I made, I made an example. I'm close with Victoria, with Victoria, I'm yeah. close with Sean. Now, if I have an issue with Sean, I'm not going to kick Victoria and her partner out or rub it in their face when, you know, they're being evicted, making it seem like, okay, um, I'm happy that you're out. Yeah. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're doing it to my partner, you're doing it to me too. Because at that point, the minute we stood up, I'm hearing, um, now you're out, bitches. Yeah, yeah like you that. can't curse, but yeah, we saw that. Excuse, yeah. the, excuse my French, but yes, you know, you, you do all of that in my face. Now, I obviously would not consider you a friend. You know, so as far as I'm concerned, I don't owe you anything. You know, because as far as I'm concerned, I dealt with you with a very clear and open mind. Yeah. And coming out of the house, I'm now seeing all of this energy, yes. this bad energy. So it's only normal that I would have my reservations about you now. You know, so I'm, I'm about to leave us and make it seem like I'm going to oh, Okay, we are done with Flo. Let's go to Toby Fudge. How are you doing? I'm chill. I'm all right. You're always chilling in the house. Mm-hmm. You're chilled. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get straight to the drama first off why why was tj calling you a stupid idiot what's the what happened is, is it that deep uh i don't know for him you know that's the one question i i felt i should have asked him why i was sitting down there but then i felt like what was the need again though somebody that i was very honest to i spoke to without any reserve the reservation or anything I was, yeah i was being honest anytime we spoke but they call me an idiot. That's the opinion, Sha. I mean, I'm not an idiot. You don't um, think that you guys had any? What was no what was issue. this? That's what I'm saying. I'm, even I'm still surprised. We didn't have any issue. No fights. No argument. Or maybe he thought of the whole Indian situation when we evicted Indian. Maybe that uh. was why I was talking about that. But I honestly don't know, and I honestly don't care. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but of course, everybody was waiting for you to come out, mm-hmm. so it's, you get to find out. You know that mm. double K <laughs> with Mary. Uh, uh, the tag with forbidden <laughs> ship, forbidden ship. I know, right? And no, and you even made it funnier, like <laughs> you saying you want to pin her to the wall. There was one video where you were singing "Oh, oh for me." Oh, shit. You wanted to pin a old married woman oh, to the wall. <laughs> Then there was one part where you were singing Olufemi. I still caught the video yesterday and you were just gesticulating. Ma, she, fi, I don't know if you remember. Hey, <laughs> hey sorry. Uh, <laughs> like, okay, okay, honestly, I'm a lover boy. Deep yeah. down. So when I see somebody I like or somebody I'm interested in, I go all out. I don't have to pretend or I don't... I can't do small, small. I go all out for the person. Okay. And I didn't know she was married. Of I course. I didn't know. So that was just me in my element there. Okay, so now that you're out, because I need to wrap this up, how do you feel? How do you feel about the whole situation? Initially, when I found out, I was angry. But now I've had time to process everything and realize that they were just being strategic. And it was a good gameplay. And 
no hard feelings. They gave you content as well. There was a storyline there, even if it might be uncomfortable. I gave them content. Ooh! <laughs> True, because cause now, that, now that you're out, there's no content for now. Yeah, initially, people were saying that nobody noticed Cassia until I started moving towards her. So, yeah, I gave them content. Too. Okay. Do you think you'd be good friends after the house, though? I don't know. Okay. Looks like you have a conversation there. All right, Mayor, Mayor, Mayor. Something we definitely liked about you was how you came up, you know, when there's music on, you're dancing. Yeah. Some people said you had Reese. Mm-hmm. You also picked up your storyline, you know, quite early. But I'm going to start with the animosity towards Suj initially. What was that about? Well, um, for me, there's one thing I don't like. That's um, negative energy, right? Yeah. I don't think anybody likes that negative energy. But I'm big on, you know not being around negative energy so before Ibuka made that spill you know I, I tend to be quiet most times so when I'm quiet I observe I listen more than I speak so we were having a moment at the garden with my partner and I and then I saw his facial expression and it was more like it was it was disgusted with what we're doing and mm. just laid back and then yeah this looked like so he wasn't feeling it you know and then at that time we hadn't, we hadn't I don't, we've not conversed yet I think I was just like a few days in the house. So, you know, and I know that, yeah, everybody can't like you. Yeah. Right? So I just thought, okay, maybe that was it, you know, and that's okay. So from that, I knew that, okay, I would probably wouldn't relate with this person, but no hard feelings. Probably doesn't just like maybe our demeanor or something like that. That's fine. You know, until when he also had a convo with my partner, and then he was like, yo, what's up with me? And then he said, it's just slow or what? You know, so when I heard that from him, I'm like, okay, I think like he's a bit personal. Mm. This guy doesn't like me. I already had my suspicions, but I was chilled about it. But hearing that, I'm like, okay, maybe yeah. there's something there. So, but then I didn't confront him about it. I'm like, if that's how it feels. That's okay. Until it will cover up, of course. And then when we had the convo, his excuse was like, you know, it was in a different headspace when he came to the house. So he didn't even know that he had a look on his face and what not okay okay say so. all right so, so the, the, um i'm just gonna keep this quick the kiss with handy right handy right was it handy or honey handy handy yeah. for clarification yeah was it with or without consent um oh boy you're putting me on the spot here because Your people know, need know, to go, know, so you need yeah, to be fast. Yeah. Of, oh, without consent. It would, let me, I'll just put this way. Um, you know, it was a brief moment of weakness. You know, there was a bloody run I didn't see quickly, and I couldn't act upon. You know, but it's right under the bridge now, and yeah, I'd like to move on from that. All right. Um, do you think your custodian privilege in any way had a negative impact? You know, following the rest of your game in the house, the part, the fact that you had to evict. Um, no, because, you know, I would have been that way. If I was did again, I would win the custodian title. But, you know, in the last day that was the crown, it was a tough decision to make. And st- from a strategic point of view, you know, my partner was thinking that, yeah, this probably be the best fix of the best peer to take out. Cause yeah. Probably take out the competition or something like that. And, you know, we don't regret that decision. We just hope that, you know, it was as transparent as, you know, emotions don't, emo- emotions are not logical. Like yeah. Someone said a few days ago. So people in the house didn't like that. And already we knew that there was already a big target on our back. So at that moment, we were just preparing and waiting for the big blow. And because we knew that we were on the receiving end, we were going to give it to us hot, which they did. You know, so. Okay. So, so I caught this. Um, speaking of the twins, so they said in the diary room, Mayor and Ruti were bad energy and they felt like real life trolls. We're so glad they got evicted. It was like God fighting for us. Do you have any reaction to that? No, I'm not going to react to that because that's, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say feeble thinking because, I mean, y'all watch the show, the way I look like a troll. So, like I said, emotions are not logical. So, if that's your opinion, hey, it's calm. Okay. Yeah. So, last words before you go. What do you have to say to fans? Um, any last words? Yeah, All um, of you? I really, really appreciate fans, you know, from the bottom of my heart. You know, it's a lot of love out there. As a matter of fact, you know, dynamics inside is you don't know what's happening on the outside. You know, you have to sit and guess yourself a lot and think, am I doing the right thing? But, you know, I came out and I saw that, yeah, indeed, whether you made good decisions or bad ones, there are people that were ready to stand up for you, you know, and ready to defend you. And I really, really appreciate that. It meant a lot to me. So thank you very much for the love and support. You'll be seeing more of us on your timeline. Okay. So that last was like for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Initially, I thought we were doing nothing. 
<laughs> when we came outside, we heard that we were trending in all of Nigeria the first week or the first few days. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for the love and support. Team Streets, may your first to be forged. Thanks and appreciate your efforts. We love you. All right, Richie, Flo. I win, yummy. First of all, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the love. Um, I mean, we're trying to navigate this every step by the way, every step of the way. And I mean, hopefully, we all do it together. We all navigate it through it together because this is new for us. You know, we don't even know what to expect. But one thing we are very focused on is the positive love and all the love we can give. Um, we have so much in stock. We can't wait to unleash, 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 unleash. You don't remake okay. Italawa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rizzi. Um, Thank you so much, guys. Oh, God. You know, it is one thing for you to be in the house and another thing for you to come out and then you see all the love. I love you. I appreciate you. Some of you are calling me Ruth or Bokoku. I don't know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> but then again, thank you so much for the love and the support for me and my partner. And then, what do you hate? Oh, it's okay. But I still love you. Thank you so much, everyone. And we appreciate all right, thanks for stopping by on the show. Wish you guys the best going forward and um, definitely rooting for you. It's a vibe on Lava Lounge. 93.3.